this is HG Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Bravely Default! Last time, we arrived at Florum, so let's take a look around the place. First things first, I want to buy some new equipment here. We want to get two rods of fire, and, well, guess what element they enhance, viewers? If you say ice, I'm going to hit you. No, no, they boost fire elemental damage by 10%. Each, although they stack multiplicatively just like the ogres clubs do, but these ones also boost your magic attack stat too, unlike the ogres clubs. So that's pretty nice. So yeah, I definitely want to get two of those. Let's see. I also want to get some body armor for Ring of Bell. As you can see, yeah, the Ken Bogey is not keeping up on defense at all anymore. So, yeah, and two agility is not a big deal at this point in the game. So, I'm pretty much going to be ditching most of the Kenpogies that I've got. I mean, I'll hold on to them, but I'm probably not going to equip many of them. Let's talk to some of the people around here. Maybe some of them know about the, the Crystal of Water or Olivia or something, but let's see. Now, what this guy is talking about, I forget exactly how it works. I think it's like... For each job level you gain, it increases the stat modifiers by 1%. So, like, if you have a job class that gives you 10% more agility, but then you gain a job level with it, it would give you 11% more agility instead. So that's pretty nice. As far as your base agility stat goes. Oh. Oh. Sorry to hear about that, lady. Oh, good for you. Oh, well, that seems rather uh, pessimistic. Oh, what do you mean the skin? I would think if you wanted to get like a tan or something, you would go to Anchim for that. I don't know. Oh, really? Well, I wouldn't know about that. I don't know how magnets work. Can't believe I just referenced that song. Um, uh, well, you wouldn't have to try with Ring a Bell. Let's see what we got over here. Okay, we got a magic shop that I want to... Well, I'll just buy everything that they got. White magic spells are all very useful. Well, maybe not so much rays, but we might as well take it anyway. And let's see, yeah, the black magic spells are really useful. These are level three spells. You can tell, but it's kind of hard to see. But there's the number three by the black icon and then the white icon here. And then there's the number two for these ones. Let's see, the, yeah, the level two time magic spells are all pretty good too. Quera is the earth elemental one. Haste, unlike most uh, stat modifying effects or stat boosting effects. This one actually boosts speed by 50%. 50%. Most of them boost it by like 25% as far as like stat modifiers go. So that's pretty nice. And the teleport spell, of course, is useful for getting out of dungeons if you are running low on those uh, teleport stones and all that. But all right, let's see what else we got around here. Oh, I think that's everything around this screen at least so that's all the shopping we need to do here so let's see what else we got going on here hey how's it going oh yeah were you the lady who was talking about that earlier something or other going on hey how's it going Not a big fan of lipstick. I'll be honest with you, viewers. Oh, yeah, we just got normal hair, I guess. But let's see, if you go over here... No, it's up here, maybe? Ha-ha! Hidden treasure that I'll never use, but it's there. It's a battle item that drains... I forget if it's HP or MP. I think it's MP, but whatever. I would never use it anyway. 
Oh, yeah, we heard about that festival or something going on. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so with that, Lilith's Kiss. Okay, Aspier is the MP draining one. Okay, yeah, there's Aspier, which is the drain MP one. And then there's, well, Drain, which is the HP draining one. Well, let's see who's around here. The quest marker indicates something's going on here. Hmm, who might you be, child? I am Anya Soblige, Vestal of Wind. It has been many years, Lady Matriarch. Oh, have you seen her before? Oh, I see it now. My, but you've grown, dear. Florum is more beautiful for your visit. Well, that's not what everyone else says around here. On the topic of Florum's beauty, Lady Matriarch, just what has happened here? Then you've seen it, have you? Seen something going on. Be sister to the flowers, woods, and waters, pure of mind and body. Those were Florum's ways. Emphasis on were, I fear. Now the girls war over who can ornament herself the loudest. Ah, oh, yeah, I kind of noticed that. They spend their days staring into mirrors while nature's beauty is lost to them. Well, it's still around, it looks like. Their neglect has turned Florum's lands to wastes. Ah. Her beauty is all but lost. Is that your hair or a veil you're wearing over your hair? I think that's a veil that the matriarch is wearing. It's kind of hard to tell. It seems kind of translucent. How has this happened? At some point, there emerged the notion that prosperity was limited only to the most beautiful. Wouldn't there be only one of them, then? But you guide this land's laws, Lady Matriarch. Did you notice no change? Not until it was complete, I fear. It truly was an insidious thing. Well, okay, so the ladies here care more about their looks than... Nature, I mean, doesn't seem, I mean, okay, that's not great priorities, but I don't, I wouldn't think that would be the end of the world. And now, <laughs> I am left to curse my powerlessness to reverse this corrosive tide. I join you in despair, Lady Matriarch. My pure and... Going to cut you off there, ring a bell. <laughs> Lady Matriarch, I wish to speak with the Vestal of Water. Is Olivia at the temple? Ah, oh, of course. The two of you were so inseparable as girls. You scarce passed a day apart. I thought we've spent a very long time apart. Seems almost yesterday that. Fond memories of fairer times. But I fear the Vestal of Water is in hiding. Ah. Even I cannot say where she makes her hermitage. You, so, do you know, or do you not know, and or you're just unwilling to say? No. Then, how does the Temple of Water fare? It suffers for the absence of its mistress and her acolytes. These months have seen it go ragged. Months? Anyas, it may still hold some clue. Why don't we begin there? I thought the crystals didn't go dark until relatively recently. More recently than that. Yes. Yes, of course. Huh. Well, maybe we should check it out. Oh, but first we got more party chat! Ah. <laughs> Vestalings. I don't know, I just like the sound of that word. Ah. But weren't you two in separate countries most of the time? Well, you did. Well, that's not really saying too much about your intelligence there, Anya. Or hers. Uh, 
Oh, okay. So that's how you uh, kept in contact. Although I would think letters would still take a while to deliver. Well, I guess we got airships, but well, I don't see any airships around here. Well, you're here now! Oh, I thought the matriarch said she went into hiding. I would think that would make it rather difficult for her to look around, but... First things first, let's go back into the matriarch's hall here. Let's see, if we go over here... Haha! -ha! Star pendant that I might want to hold on to for later. And let's see, I think that's a wind elemental damage item. I think I rarely use those, but eh, I use them every now and then. We might as well hold on to them. But, okay, well, let's see. That's all the treasure we can get around here. Let's see, I, if I recall correctly, yes, we got more, well, not party chat, but we got more tutorial quests here. So let's see what we got here. Okay. So we got a few of those there, so let's see what we can do here. We need to go into the special menu. Anyone, doesn't matter, let's just go with hack and slash. And let's see, if you notice on the bottom screen, if I can, can I get to that? Okay, uh, there it is, yeah, I have to tap on the bottom screen, sorry if it's kind of difficult to see what we got there, but let me see, if I, let's just, add an exclamation point to make it sound more powerful or something. That'll do. You just need to change the name of that. And then there's the message that displays. So let me see. Let's add two. Two exclamation points. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, that's all I'm going to do. Just to change the names to fulfill the tutorial quest. And let's see. If we go into the journal... We need to look up combat bonuses. So let's see, we go over here and yeah, we got a new one for, yeah, being unscathed in 10 consecutive battles. Haven't gotten any of these yet. Uh, those are sweeper, uh, what is it? Sweeper uh, bo combat bonuses, which means you kill all the enemies at the same time, which is pretty difficult to do, especially up to now. But we'll have some ways of taking care of that soon. Haha! -ha, okay. And let's see. We got... Ah, uh, yeah. The Event Viewer. That's the only one that I can do right now without actually going into a battle. So, let's see what we got here. Okay, so if we... I don't know if I actually have to look at one. Let's just... Do this one. We've arrived! Oh, hold on, I want to go over one of the lines. When they're the sight, the wind cares. I see. Oh. From here, we ignore anything she says. Anya's phrase is getting lost to an art form. <laughs> okay, I just wanted to hear that line. <laughs> oh, I love you, Ari. Okay, so hopefully that'll fulfill the condition. Good! Okay, so, the other two, I've actually already done these, but you have to do it after getting the tutorial quest, I'm afraid. Let's see, and we also... Ooh, wow, lots of good items. Zeus's Wraths are of particular importance to me. So, yeah, hold on to all of those, actually, though. They'll all be useful at one point in time or another, probably. So, okay, well, that's everything we can do here. Let's see, I do need to change my setup a bit. So, let's see what we got. I don't think there's too much that I need to change, though. Let's see. We got two-handed. We don't need Dungeon Master anymore. So, let's just go with a little bit of a speed boost. Let's see. Agnes is going to be the same. You still have white magic, right? Okay, good. Let's see. Ring a bell, I believe, is going to be the same. Yep. And let's see. Let's go. Hmm. Let's go with chivalry now at this point. And, okay, we got that. I don't think I really need to change too much of my equipment, either. Uh, let's see. We did get that scimitar last time that I could use. Hmm. I was thinking of sticking with the Ise no Kami here. 
Yeah, let's go with the scimitar now. I mean, the crit rate is nice. You could go either way, really, but yeah, let's just go with the scimitar at this point. And I'm not going to be using Ken Pogies on most of my party members here, but I do want to equip the new Rod of Fire that we got. So let's uh, double up on those, because most enemies around here are still going to be weak to fire. And let's see, we don't need protection from confusion anymore, but I'm still going to keep the rainbow dress on Agnes anyway. Let's get you on some actually decent armor for your defense there, that'll help out a lot. And let's see, I believe I'm going to keep her mostly the same, except for the missile bangle. So let's equip those. Let's see. I, yeah, I probably should rest up. I was thinking, I was just looking at the HP. It's like, well, that's not a huge loss of HP. But yeah, I did use quite a bit of MP on the way here. So yeah, the only place I think we can go to is the uh, Temple of Water. Oh, what do we got here? Oh yeah, I keep on forgetting. You get party chat whenever you rest up at an inn for the first time, I think. Yeah, guys not get a good night of sleep or something? <laughs> you know me too well, Adia. What do you mean? Oh. What are they powering those things with, anyway? Oh. Ha ha. <laughs> We're JRPG protagonists. Oh. Black, just like our enemies. Black as pitch, as India would put it. Oh. Um. <laughs> I like Adia's angry face, but... Okay, that's everything we got here. Let's see. The Temple of Water is not too far from here. Let's see. Oh, it's right down there. Wow, that was a little closer than even I thought it was going to be. But alright. Wow, not even a random battle to do those other tutorial quests, huh? Well, that's okay. We'll do them later. One thing about the Temple of Water... Uh, there's actually no enemies in here, oddly enough, unlike the Temple of Wind. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be in uh, as ruined of a state as the Temple of Wind. Yeah, it was like a tornado ripped through the place. Hmm. Well, maybe we can find some clues or something. Oh, yeah, I was about to say, yeah, this place looks pretty similar. You don't have the multiple floors of the of the Temple of Wind, but the base floor is pretty much the same. Aww. Don't drift off to sleep, everyone. Oh, yeah, pretty much. Not anymore. Didn't you go out to, like, I don't know, hang out with Olivia or something? Whatever you did? Ah. Well, yeah, I would know the feeling being a recluse myself. But all right, let's take a look around and find some treasure. Fortunately, no enemies around, so we don't need to worry about anything like that. There's no, like, locked doors or levers or anything we need to figure out. But we do got some other stuff in these rooms. 
This place is in a grim state. But it feels different from the Temple of Wind somehow. What do you mean? There are no traces of damage from monster or miasma. Hmm. This is erosion. Time left these scars. I would think it would take more than months for that to happen. Well, at least the temple's in one piece. Hopefully that bodes well for our mission. But anyway, let's go through a secret passage. Ooh, a rebuff locket. Sorry, I went through that a little quickly. That protects you from the charm status. And that's a pretty annoying status to have to deal with. Uh, let's see, if I recall correctly, the difference between the charm status and the confusion status is confusion, I think, just makes your action and targeting random, but I think the charm status guarantees that you'll only hit your allies, not potentially enemies as well as with the confusion status, I think. Maybe I'm thinking of another game. Nothing. There's no sign of anyone here. The same as the Temple of Wind. No, it looks the same, but it's anything but. Well, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> it isn't that no one is here. There is no sign of anyone ever having been here. Not in years. Oh, I thought uh, the, was it the Matrix was saying that Olivia had only been in hiding for months. But we're not going to go into that anymore. So let's just keep on looking around for more treasure. It's not like the people who are here are going to need it. Ooh, an ice charm. You'll definitely want to hold on to that for later. Not just for, uh... Well, one instance, but there's quite a few instances where we'll need some elemental protection or resistances. And that can really help out a lot. Have a look. These are Vestal garbs, aren't they? What, they just got them lying around here? They should be Olivia's. The design is a bit different from yours, Agnes. Not bad, I must say. This isn't the time for that, ring -a bell Must you? Really? <laughs> that was the other thing I was thinking about saying. <laughs> Sounded like that she would have had multiple Vestal Garbs, though. Hmm, that is odd. But alright. And, let's see, I think that's everything. But what is the condition of the Crystal of Water? Find out next time on Let's Play Bravely Default. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!